On this episode, we'll talk about brittle nails. We'll also talk about the ghrelin hormone and if it comes back to haunt you. And we'll talk about how much protein do you really need. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Alvarez with endobariatric.com and welcome to episode 128 of the Ask Dr. A show. Thank you so much. If you want to send me your questions, you can do so by using the hashtag Ask Dr. A throughout social media or send me a video with your question to questions at endobariatric.com or you can send it through, uh, well, through using my Snapchat account that you already know about. Or now recently, we now opened my personal, my personal uh, Instagram account that you are um, invited to follow. And please say hello, say hello, and let me know where you're from. All right. So uh, let's go into the show. My nails have been extremely brittle. Is this something related to a gastric sleeve? And what can I do about it? Okie doke. So uh, if you are talking about a sleeve patient uh, having brittle nails, that it is not common at all. It is more commonly seen in more malabsorption procedures like duodenal switch or gastric bypass. But let's say it happens. Uh, what can you do? Well, number one is you need to take your supplements and your multivitamin is the number one thing there. The second uh, thing that is important, you need a supplement to uh, help your skin, your nails, and your hair. And for that, there is a really good complement or supplement altogether that's called hair, skin, and nail. There, is, uh, there are several uh, uh, forms. You can have it in a capsule. Uh, gel cap or even gummies. So uh, I like the gummies for the first few uh, months out from surgery. Uh, you can find it at a regular uh, pharmacy over the counter and it works really good to supplement your hair, skin, and nails. So uh, now remember this, remember that the hair um, or the nails grow at a very slow pace. So it is not like magic that you take the supplement, you'll notice a, a difference in two or three days right after you're taking it. No. Uh, this is going to take weeks. You're talking about five or six weeks at least. All right, so be patient there. Will the ghrelin hormone ever turn? Okay, so uh, the demon of the uh, ghrelin hormone. All right, if if you if you don't know about this, uh, when we do the sleeve, part of the stomach that we remove. Um, produces uh, ghrelin, which is a hormone that produces the, the head hunger, all right, those cravings. Um, just remember and uh, know that the ghrelin hormone uh, is vastly produced in that part that we remove, but it's not the only part in your body that it's produced in, all right? It is also produced, well, in the part of the stomach that we are leaving behind, first of all, and also uh, small quantities of this ghrelin hormone is produced in the small intestine that we don't touch during surgery or the pancreas. Um, down the road, studies have shown that the ghrelin hormone does come back in a matter of 12 to 18 months, but normally the hunger this patient is, the patient that submitted this question is feeling, it's not related to the hunger, uh, to, the, to the ghrelin hormone or the hunger hormone. Uh, it is normally related to gastritis, an inflammation of the stomach, or um, uh, an inflammation that is causing this hunger in this patient. I actually have a really good video called uh, hungry after surgery. We want to check it out here on YouTube. Hungry, type in hungry after surgery, Dr. Alvarez. Uh, or we can place the link in the description area for you to see. All right, so uh, be on the lookout that normally when you have hunger, it's not always the ghrelin, uh, the ghrelin hormone. How much protein are we going to need exactly? Okay, so how much protein do you really need? First of all, let me start, and I like to uh, always emphasize that I have never seen a bariatric patient with a protein deficiency. Why is this? So please, that's something just for you to place, put your mind at ease because nowadays everything has protein. I mean, for goodness gracious, you got chips that are supplemented with protein. You got water that has protein. I mean, there's protein all over. It says protein fever, you know? So um, uh, for patients, it's 
practically very difficult for us to see as physicians to see a protein deficiency. So don't get carried away that you're gonna be falling behind or this protein is gonna give you a boost of energy or uh, uh, you're gonna be lacking protein and uh, it's, uh, it's gonna cause you harm or anything like that. But um, for, for reference, your body needs one to two grams of protein for every 2.2 pounds of uh, ideal body weight that you should be weighing. So uh, tra uh, reduce this to kilograms as one to two uh, grams for every kilogram of ideal body weight you should have, all right? So uh, what you can do, what, what you can do is uh, have an ideal weight, an I ideal weight, and uh, divide that by uh, 2.2 and that times one to two grams of protein per day. So uh, that, is, uh, that is the vast majority. So for a 70 kilogram uh, person, you need between 70 to 140 or so grams of protein per day. Now what depends, the number one to two depends on what you're going through. So yes, you wanna pick it up to two because you're going into a catabolic state, because you're gonna be losing weight seriously, so close to 100, 120 grams per day should be enough, more than enough, believe me, all right? If you're doing the minimum, which is 70 grams, you're good, nothing's gonna to happen to you. So put your mind at ease. 120, 140 milligrams, uh, 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 I'm sorry, grams, 140 grams per day. If you're doing like muscle uh, uh, building, or you're doing putting in the iron, you're doing exercise seriously, like, uh, marathons and uh, training seriously, well, that's a good amount, all right? But uh, put your mind at ease. Don't get overwhelmed with the protein. All right, so that is it for episode 128 of the Ask Dr. A Show. I really enjoyed the show, really good questions. And the question of the day is, where are you from? I wanna know where you are from. I'm really interested in knowing on the map where, I, where you're from. I'm gonna be uh, reading every single uh, uh, reply here. So uh, the comments down below. And if you have a chance, send me a shout out in my Instagram account. All right, my, my username is GMO Alvarez and I'll reply back. Remember, that's me replying. So look for my Instagram account and I'll be following you. All right, take care, bye-bye.